Hi, today I'm going to go over the learning pack for Inside the Big Top. This is our circus topic. Before we start, we love to see your photos of your home learning. So if you have any amazing photos you want to share with us, please do send them through over, you, over we duck and the office email office at ellesmere.leicester.sch.uk. First, I'm going to go over our English lessons, where we will describe what we can see at a circus, act it out and write about it. We will also be doing Do Disco and Colourful Schematics lessons. During the English lessons, we will look at the book All Aboard the Circus, McGurkus by Dr Seuss. Don't worry if you don't have the book. Included in the learning pack is a YouTube link to, the video, to a video of the, the book being read. In lesson one, I want you to listen to our story by Dr Seuss and see if you can answer the questions listed in the pack. Some have multiple choice and some you will need to think of your own answers. Lesson two is about describing what you see. There are a list of different circus videos to watch on YouTube. Remember, you don't have to watch them all, but the ones you do, tell an adult what you can see. For the green objective, use the photos provided to show an adult what you saw in the circus videos. For the blue objective, again, use the photos provided to describe what you saw in the circus videos to an adult. Can you see different keywords here? For the purple objective, can you write about the things you saw in the circus videos? Either in full sentences or using words. In lesson three, you'll be taking part in a listening game. You will need noisy items from around your house and a blanket. These could be saucepans to bang, shakers to shake, or water bottles to pour out water in, into the sink. For the green objective, Get an adult to cover up one object with a blanket and make the noise. Can you point to which object it was when, when they have finished making the noise? For the blue objective, get an adult to cover two or more of the items with the blanket and make the different noises at the same time. When they finish, can you point to the two items that were used at the same time? For the purple objective, get an adult to choose three of the objects, cover them with the blanket and make the sounds in a certain order. One, two, three. Can you guess which order they were in? Can you point to the correct ones and put them in the right order yourself? Lesson four is based on phonics. First, you are going to start with a phonics game. From the sounds below, you will get an adult to choose one and you will write what they are saying. For the green objective, you will need to find the initial sounds from a choice of two for each picture that's going to be on your sheet. For the blue objective, you'll be taking part in a ball game using phase three words. When you land on a certain word, you need to put it into a sentence to be able to keep playing. For the purple object, you will need some dice to find out which tricky words you will need to read and then put them into a sentence. Lesson five will be about telling a story about the circus. With an adult, read the story that is in the learning pack under lesson five. For the green objective, you'll be matching missing pictures to retell the story. For blue and purple objectives, you'll be using your own imagination to retell the circus story. You can do this through acting, drawing or writing. In lesson six, we are learning about capital letters and the alphabet. We will be playing a capital letters game for the green objective, you will see if two letters are the same or different. For the blue objective, you will match lowercase letters to the uppercase letters. For the purple objective, you will be playing a game where you have to order words in alphabetical order. Lesson 7. We are practising the skills we have learnt at school by taking part in Do Disco. You will need some Play-Doh and the different pictures to show you what actions to do. Can you copy others' actions and instructions from the different moves? Maybe you can create your own do disco song and get others to copy your actions. For lesson eight, we are going to make some juggling balls from balloons and rice. You will need to follow the instructions carefully in the YouTube video provided. In lesson nine, we will be looking at circus sentences using colorful schematics. 
you will look at some pictures and find out who is in it, what they are doing, what they are using and where they are. Can you say the answers to the questions I just said? In lesson 10, we are going to practice our fine motor skills by feeding some elephants. You will need a picture of the elephants provided and pictures of the peanuts to cut out. Get an, an adult to carefully cut out the mouth of the elephant. Can you feed any of the peanuts through the elephant's mouth? Be really careful about cutting out the peanut, peanuts because that means you, you'll be using your fine motor skills. For the blue and purple objective, why not try cutting the peanuts in half? Now we are going to look at the maths lessons that are in our circus pack. In these lessons, you'll be looking at ordinal numbers for circus performers, creating a repeating pattern of clowns, making tickets for the circus, and weighing out ingredients for circus treats. In lesson one, you'll be using a dice to play a clown face game. When you roll the dice, you will count the number of spots, to say the number that you have rolled. Look at the table in the pack to see which facial feature you need to draw that matches the number, of the number that you have just rolled. Take it in turns of a friend to play the game. The first person to finish drawing the clown's face is the winner. In lesson two, you will look at ordinal numbers, first, second, third, fourth, last, and use them to talk about where people are in the queue for the circus. Cut out the symbols for the different circus performers, read with an adult the order for the queue provided, and stick the correct acts in the correct orders. Maybe you can have a go at deciding what order you want the queue to be and tell someone or write the order that you have chosen. In lesson three, you will be making your own circus tent by building a big den at home. Use different materials you can find around your house. You could use blankets, tables, chairs. Can you listen to instructions on how to build a big tent from an adult? Maybe you can be the one to give the instructions to someone else to show them how to build a big den. In lesson four, you will be making a clown costume by making repeating patterns. Clowns are often dressed to look quite silly with big clothes. You are going to find odd clothes from all around your house to make a big clown costume. Maybe you can make a repeating pattern on a necklace. You can use different coloured pasta shapes. For lesson five, you will be making tickets for a circus show. You will need to write numbers on the tickets for different reasons, including the price of the ticket, the seat number where to sit, and the time that the circus starts. For the green objective, you will make marks to represent these numbers. For the blue objective, some of your numbers will be really recognisable, and you will be able to answer some questions when an adult asks you about the numbers you have used. For the purple objective, you'll make tickets with lots of information all on your own and you want to answer different questions asked by the adult independently. In lesson six, you will be measuring out different ingredients to make some snacks for the circus audience. Follow the recipe carefully that is in the lesson plaque to make chocolate crispy cakes and make sure you use your numbers to make the correct measurements for the ingredients. Ooh. For lesson seven, you are going to be balancing along a tight rope. Take a skipping rope or string and lay it across the floor. You will practice balancing along it. Can you measure how far you got, have gone before you wobbled off? Can you count with an adult on your, or, or even on your own how many footsteps you were able to take? Maybe you can put a marker at the place you could get to and measure from the start to the finish. In lesson eight, you will be using different time words to find out how long you can be a balancing act performer. You will watch a video of someone balancing different things on their hands. Then it will be your turn to balance something that you can find in the house. Something tall. This could be a teddy bear or a cup or something else. Can you work with an adult to work out how many seconds and minutes it was? Maybe you could get a time on someone's phone and read the amount of time independently using the words seconds and minutes. In lesson nine, you will be making some ice cream clowns. Take a scoop of ice cream into a bowl or a cupcake case. 
Turn our ice cream cone upside down to be the clown's hat. Now you will need to use different shaped sweets to make the different facial features of the clown. Can you count out how many shapes you would need for the ears or the eyes? Can you find any pointy parts of the tasty treat? Can you use any describing words to describe the sweets? For example, circle, curved, pointy. And lastly, for lesson 10, you will be putting on your own circus show for your household. Using the items you've made for all the other lessons, including the big tent den, tickets and snacks. Can you perform different circus acts for the audience that is from your household? Good luck, I'll bet it'd be a great show. Now it's time to explore the other lessons we have planned in our circus topic pack. For creative arts, you will make a paper plate clown, your own trapeze artist, a circus lion, and design the clown some shoes. In independence, you need to be ready to make some ice cream clowns, cook popcorn cupcakes, go on a circus hunt, and organize your own show. For science, you'll be using sweets to make a big top tent, edible candy slime, and making a strong man's weights. In understanding the world, you'll be learning what a circus is, and you'll be making your own circus game. For PSHE, you can do some mindfulness circus coloring, help at home, and dress up for the circus using your own dressing up clothes. In physical development, you'll be taking part in circus movements, feed the elephant with tweezers, do some circus yoga, and play hoop toss. For technology, you'll be making your own circus rider, create a spinning circus top wheel, make a bridge for the animals, and some marshmallow dumbbells. We really hope you enjoy all your learning to do with the circus.